During the reign of King Monk at 1851-1868 there once lived a beautiful girl named Nack, who was married to a man, named Tid Mac. The love between Nack and Tid Mac bore fruit, and soon Nack was heavy with child. But as the fates would have it, Tid Mac was called to serve in the army, forcing him to leave his pregnant wife. While Tid Mac was away, Nack suffered a fatal complication while giving birth and died along with her child. But due to her deep love for her husband, Nack refused to cross over and instead remained as a ghost in their house. When Tid Mac returned home, still blissfully unaware of his wife's death, he found his beautiful wife and child waiting for him. Not wanting his husband to know of her deathly situation, Nack killed anyone who attempted to warn her husband that he was living with a ghost. And for a time they lived a life full of happiness and love plus the occasional brutal death of nosy neighbors. But Nack could not have it her way for long, as fate again intervened to stop her murdering shenanigans. One day, as Nack was preparing lunch for her husband, she accidentally dropped a lime off the porch. She quickly reached out to catch the lime, but in her haste she overstretched her arm, elongating it to inhuman proportions apparently, Thai ghosts are like Mr. Fantastic. Unbeknownst to Nack, Tid Mac saw the whole thing and at last realized that Nack was a ghost. Fear gripped Tid Mac, who did not want to spend his life hitched to a ghost. He fled their house that night and took refuge inside a holy temple so that Nack could not chase after him. When Nack realized that Tid Mac had fled, her grief knew no bounds. Grief quickly turned to anger and she went on a murdering rampage. Her neighbors got the brunt of her wrath and dozens died by her hands. Wanting nothing more to do with her, the neighbors hired an exorcist to lock her up in an earthenware, jar Asian Ghostbusters style, and toss the jar over the canal. For years afterwards, the village was at peace. But the story does not end there several years later, someone accidentally fished out the jar from the canal and unwittingly released the ghost of Nak. The one who vanquished her this time was the famous Buddhist monk Samdeto, who imprisoned her spirit in the bone of her forehead and bound it on his way ice band. The priest from the exorcist should really take a lesson from this guy. When Samdeto died, the relic was said to have passed on to the royal family to make sure Nak would not be released to do harm ever again. Imagine that she has the royal family as jail wardens.